Hi, welcome back to Let Your Kingdom Come with Sean Davis. Today is Freedom Friday, and we're going to talk about freedom from sin on the cross today. And no matter what the enemy has tried to do in this nation, this is the United States of America, the land of the free and home of the brave. So I'm going to be reading from Romans chapter 8 today, starting at verse 1, the life-giving spirit. Therefore, no condemnation now exists for those in Christ Jesus, because the Spirit's law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. What the law could not do, since it was limited by the flesh, God did. He condemned sin in the flesh by sending His own Son in flesh like ours, under sin's domain, and as a sin offering, in order that the law's requirement would be accomplished in us, who did not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh think about the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit about the things of the Spirit. For the mindset of the flesh is death, but the mindset of the Spirit is life and peace. For the mindset of the flesh is hostile to God because it does not submit itself to God or God's law, for it is unable to do so. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God lives in you. But if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. Now, if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will also bring your mortal bodies to life through his Spirit who lives in you. So that went from uh, Romans chapter 8, 1, all the way through verse 10. So that was Romans 8, 1 through 10. God, we pray right now for everybody listening to this, Lord God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your life-giving spirit. Lord God, let this be a living word right now, Lord God. May your spirit live and breathe through us, Lord God, and live and breathe on this planet, Lord God. Live and breathe on the earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done. Your kingdom come, Lord. Lord, we pray that if anything in the flesh, Lord God, that we have anything in the flesh, Lord God, that we crucify it because you've already done it for us. It's finished on the cross. It's a finished work, Lord God. We pray that we get out of our flesh, Lord God, and into the Spirit, Lord God. We thank you for that, that our flesh die right now in the name of Jesus, and that our spirit be raised again with you. Resurrection power right now in the name of Jesus. Resurrection power right now in the name of Jesus. He's already went to hell grave. He took back the keys of death, hell, and the grave, and no weapon form may prosper. In the name of Jesus, uh, the gates of hell will not prevail against us because it cannot prevail against Jesus. So in the mighty name of Jesus, raise to life right now your spirit. And Jesus, you live in us and through us on this earth right now. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 